Okay, baby doll. It's the day after Thanksgiving, so we got time on our hands. Today I'm bringing you Marvel Legends, Marvel's Nakia from Wakanda Forever. Great movie. We love the movie. We stand the movie. Nakia, she a baddie. Let's be honest. That's she's my other girlfriend. She's one of my girlfriends, many girlfriends. See, look, I was saying from the Everett Ross, like this is from Wakanda Forever. It's silver. The Everett Ross packaging has the purple from the first movie. I think I'm not too sure, but yeah, um, we get a nice little picture of our figure on the back. I like that accessories on the side. Cool, cool. Whatever those are. And then we got the builder figure part as well. No bio. Illegals, if you really want to see, they're right there. This at the bottom. Um, we get our builder figure on the side now, which is pretty cool. Atuma. I got Atuma in my head. <laughs> no, let's get into the figure. Alright, you know what it is. We're doing accessories first. Build a figure part. Atuma. Yeah, the more pieces I get of this guy, I'm actually pretty interested in him. The detail on this cape is pretty nice. The little bones are cool. Little knife on the back. Collar right here. Straps on the underarm. You know, really nice. And then she comes with two sets of hands. She has... Or actually, she has kind of like two random hands. She's got the fisted hands. Here, I'll show you. She's got these two hands right here for her weapons. Kind of got like a, uh, like a like a crack in the fingers. And then she comes with a fisted hand and another hand. But we'll show you that when we get into the figure. And then we're going to look at the weapons. These are pretty cool. There's like her regular weapons that she uses all the time. But they're like underwater themed or something i don't know pretty nice though it's a solid green green metallic green kind of look pretty cool and then she comes with this extra head right here which looks just like the actress it looks pretty good the hair detail is crazy look at all the braids and shit going down looks really nice i'm really digging that look at her face mm, that's my girlfriend right there and then we'll show you the other head when we show the figure Alrighty. Oh, God. All right, we're looking at our Nokia out of the packaging, and she's pretty cool, pretty decent figure. The detail on her is pretty sick. Let's go ahead and look at her face. I do like how they did this underwater helmet. Came out really cool. I like that her face is underneath the bubble. It's actually closed off, too, at the bottom. So, yeah, it's closed off. She, she breathing. She breathing air. I love the detail on her suit, though. It's, like, all got a lot of different lines and different like effects inside of it it's pretty cool nice little belt here her rib cage looking nice little abdomen area she got these beads which i think is where how she contacts um everybody right i think that's why they do it they that's like their phone is their beads arms look pretty good i like this metal like this green metal they have going on here it's kind of throughout the figure you can see it a little bit here and there with the matte like kind of like forest green yeah, a little swimsuit action. A little, little butt action right here. No paint on the butt. What's going on there? You know, I'm going to be looking at that all, a lot. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm kidding, though. More on the helmet. Look at the back. Really not... Really look at that all of it real quick. Pretty pretty solid figure. I ain't going to lie. I was, I'm actually surprised of how much I actually enjoy the way this figure looks and then real quick i wanted to show you what she looks like holding her weapons and has the extra head on her so that looks pretty good came out pretty nice she she a baddie big old head but you know what we're gonna try something else now because ah come on this motherfucker does not want to pop off we have the um <clears throat> the legacy collection from earlier this year and i want to pop the head on her because it might look pretty nice it doesn't really want to pop on there even though it should why does it want to go on there? The head's too... The hole inside is too small, I think. So it ain't gonna work. Oh, there we go. We got it on. Tight fit, but... It works out pretty good. In case you wanted to have her with long hair. But, you know, it don't really matter. She's not part of the door melange anymore. Let's see what she looks like if we put this head on. Yeah, pretty cool. It looks good either way. Oh, it's heck loose. Oh, holy sheesh. Well, there you go. All right, let's go over the articulation. We're gonna finish the review off with her on this head. So it looks, she looks back, not too much. 
pretty good, I guess. I mean, not really. Looks down quite a bit. The hair hell sticks up, but it's, you know, not, it's kind of hard, but it's not that bad. Rotates all the way around, of course, on a dumbbell joint, so it doesn't really shift. She's got um, ball jointed shoulders that go up about that far. No butterfly joint, kind of disappointing, but whatever, not that big of a deal. We just got it with the um, Kate Bishop, so it's not really that big of a deal. I mean, we should have gotten it, but whatever. Bicep swivel, of course, double jointed elbows, pinless, by the way. Come on now, let's, let's go. Wrist rotate all the way around, of course. Go back, go forward. She's got that abdomen that goes back this much. Goes forward that much. Let's move her arm out of the way so you can see. Not too good. Goes side to side, of course, and then it does rotate. Legs go forward about that much, pretty decent. They go out that much. Not too great, but you know, we've seen worse. Got that thigh cut, of course. Painless, double jointed knees, of course. You know how they do. Foot goes up, it goes down, and then it does go side to side. Hasha, nakai. All right, and for some size comparisons, here she is next to Shuri and herself from the Legacy Collection from earlier this year. This will show you how she uh, how she stacks up against herself, because she, you know, it's a battle against yourself at the end of the day, you know. All right, and here she is next to her BF Black Panther, rest in peace, the goat, and then the figure we just reviewed earlier this morning, Everett Ross. So you know, whatever. And here she is with some of the villains. I mean, I wouldn't really call Mbaku a villain anymore from the movies, but, you know, he was a villain in the first one, kind of. And the man ape was always a bad guy in the comics or in the cartoons, from what I remember. So, yeah, bad guys and Killmonger, you know how it is. He, he be monging the kills. Oh, my God. All right, here she is with some taller females, some taller women, if you will. So I didn't mean to call them females. But, um, yeah, got Ironheart and... She Hulk from the new show. When your side piece meets up with your main, <laughs> oh man, I don't know what's gonna happen here. I might be in trouble. This is kind of random, but I do like to fudge in some MCU with my uh, Star Wars sometimes in pictures. So you know, I just wanted to bring them down, show you how she stacks up with some Black series. We got the Mandalorian and then the Ahsoka from the Mandalorian. I think they look pretty cool. They mesh. They mesh well. All right, and we have come to the end of the review, and the final thoughts are. I like this figure, but it's not really something that we, as collectors, really needed. At least I don't think. We could have gotten some other, um, like we got Everett Ross and shit. Like, like we already had him before. I don't think we needed another one. This suit is cool. Like, I, I'm, I'm happy we got it. Like, it's, it's a dope one. But, you know, they could have thrown in something else. Like, another bad guy from, like, a minion of um, Namor or something. Or maybe like, um, I don't know, like characters that mattered. Like we could have gotten, um, what's her name? I forgot the one, one of the Dora Milaje chicks. We could have gotten her. We have a Koye, but we already got her before. So it's like, we're just getting, this whole wave has just been kind of re-releases of figures that we already had, if you really think about it, but just in different costumes. Like she's not in her Dora Milaje suit. Um, Okoye is basically in her fit. And then the Shuri is like, in the black panther which is cool i can't wait to get that black panther honestly the 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 shuri version is really nice but um yeah i don't know they could have done something more they could have thrown in another um comic book figure or the mom i was saying they could have thrown in the queen the queen that would have been a, a nice figure to have just to have her and then we already had tachaka so they could have been you know completed rounded that off but you know it's whatever i would say if you don't have this one which is still very easy to get honestly i think this one's a much better figure i mean the the head's a little older looking but i think it it does the job and it's got the little black panther insignia so it's kind of fire this is like you know she's only in the suit for like a minute you know she's in there to go break out sherry or whatever and then yeah it's over like that so kind of a random figure but you know it, it could be worse um if, but if you had the choice to pick up this one or this one, I'd go with this one because, let's be honest, the Build-A-Figure, I ain't really that hype about it. It looks cool, like, based on this, what I'm seeing right here, but it ain't something I need, you know? I got these ones for a really good deal, so that's why I got a whole bunch of them. And I might I might complete the, the set because now I have Namor, and I'm only missing two, so I could get those and, 
review them, but yeah, if you ain't in the market for them, I wouldn't even touch them with a 10 foot pole. I'm sorry, Nakia, like you're bad, but you know, it ain't it. Ain't it. But uh, other than that, I think y'all will have a great rest of your weekend and I'll see you in the next video. Adoosies, adoosies. Whoa, the, the, the.